we're going to tie a fly here. Um, it's a hopper pattern. And when we did the project hopper, we got a lot of people asking for maybe a more simplified version and or maybe you know we, we were just thinking of what can we do to simplify it a little bit more and so we've done it um this fly is called the slum hopper so basically it's just a down and dirty you got a trip coming up tomorrow it's late at night and you need to bang out you know a dozen hoppers real quick this is the one for you so we're going to start out with a gamakatsu l10 2h hook it's a 2x heavy hook um, and we're, we're putting a pretty robust foam body on it. So this really helps it to ride right. And I'm just going to dress this with some Danville 140 denier brown thread. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really build this up and I'm not going to want it flat. I want it kind of bumpy and, and gnarly because I'm going to slit some foam and put this, this thread base inside a, a foam body so we we'll want it just about like that what I've done is I've taken the uh, these river road cutters this is the biggest I think it's a size 8 uh, of the hopper caddis um, cutter and I've cut out a piece of six millimeter fly tying foam so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm going to trim let's see if you can see this if I do it like this just kind of trim the outside edge off. So essentially you're going to round up the edges and then trim it up on the back as well. And basically just kind of sculpt a rounded bottom and uh, taper it up to a kind of a point like this. So that doesn't look very good as it sits right now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a lighter to it. So this is just like how we form the body of the of the uh, project hopper. So I'm just going to take a lighter to this back half of it and just kind of hit it with the lighter and, and uh, if I kind of rub it with my fingers like this it will round that all out. So we've got a body that looks like this now. So you can still see a little bit of the, the scissor marks, but not too bad. So what I'm going to do now is this front is, is just kind of square, and I'm going to take the, the edges off of this square. Just like that. Eh, probably unnecessary, but it makes it look good, so I do it. All right, so now this body is going to sit down on top of this hook. We're going to make a slit. So a little bit further than halfway back in the foam, we're going to make a slit with a razor blade. So I'm just going to take one of these double-sided razor blades, and I'm going to come in and just kind of lay it right on top and make sure I'm right in the middle and just kind of saw back and forth until you get it uh, cutting where you want it. and you cut about halfway down. Alright, so you can see that we have a an open slit now. So before you tie it in, before you tie anything in, slip it down on top of the hook and see how it looks. So this is how we're looking. And you notice my thread is all the way here in the back. Alright, so I'll put that on there and just tie it down. Alright, so once we have that tied in, we're going to tie in the back legs. Um, and unlike the Project Hopper, this one has very simple back legs. And front legs. So I'm going to take a piece of these uh, Montana Fly Centipede legs. This is the yellow, black, red. And I'm going to tie, tie this in so that it extends just a little bit past the point of the body here. Tie that down with just a few wraps. And then I'm going to loop that over and tie in the other leg. So it's about the same length, just like that. And then I'm going to take this loop and get that out of the way because it will 
get glue on it if you don't. Okay, so now you're going to advance your thread forward right about to here. That's where the, the head tie-off point's going to be. And now what I'm going to do before I tie that down is I'm going to turn it upside down. And when I do that and leave my thread hanging out the side, it kind of opens up a little slit. And that's where I'm going to put a little bit of super glue. Now, this thin Zappa Gap super glue is really touchy. So if you get too much down in here, it's not going to um, cure right away and it's going to cause a mess. So you just barely need any. So what I'm going to do is squeeze this open. See if I squeeze it, it opens up that gap a little bit. Then I'm going to stick this nozzle right down in here. And just barely get any. Maybe just a tiny bit more. There we go. So once I've got that where I need it to be, then I'll just tie that down and come back under here and make sure there's no gaps. So there aren't any gaps here. That's how I want it. And now I'm going to flip flip these legs over and pull those out a little bit uh, forward. And I'll tie those both down like this. So now you can see we have the front legs tied in. Those are quite a bit longer than I need them, so I'll just push those both forward like this and cut them at the same length. So the front legs are a little bit shorter than the back legs. All right, now what we'll do is tie in a little wing and an indicator. So the wing that I'm gonna use is just uh, this Parapost wing in Normwood Special. And this is a really cool color. It's almost like a dirty pink color, but it uh, has a little bit of tan to it too. I've used it in a whole bunch of my terrestrial patterns and, and really like it. But this Parapost material is treated so it floats a little bit higher. So I'm going to tie that down, fold it over, and you know this this portion you you don't necessarily have to get a hold of and tie it down, but if you can get it to to all go back right now, that's fine. But we're going to put a piece of foam in right in front of that, so it will kind of force it back where we want it to be. Another thing with this uh, Parapost material is you can see how it's kind of all bunched together right here. If I take this uh, little comb tool from Stonfo. I'll be able to, yeah, I'll hold this one in place so it doesn't get pulled out of the tie-in point and just brush that out. All right, so now we're brushed out, ready to go. Okay, now with some two millimeter foam, I've taken the, I believe it's the size 12 caddis, uh, hopper caddis cutter and I've got a cut out like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that um, the the wing pull it back and the foam is going to extend just a little bit past our first tie-in point so we've got it like that and then I'll just trim it off here in the front and on this one, because it's got so much super glue and it's really secure, I'm just going to hand whip finish it. And then I'll come in with a tiny bit more super glue or you could use head cement and just tag those thread wraps barely. All right, the last part of this is just to add some eyes. So I'm just gonna take a Sharpie. And add some eyes just like that. Anyway, that's the Slum Hopper. Super easy, it's pretty dang durable. And it fishes. All this stuff is available on our website, store.flyfishfood.com.